Hello everyone, it's Speedio696 here back, and I'm actually going to teach you how to program the quadratic formula in your calculator today. This is one me and my friend came up with. It does imaginary roots, and so if you're in like calculus or pre-calculus, it'll give you an I instead of an imaginary answer, so you can actually have a number to go with it. Uh, if you look at your screen, it's I have it on the screen, and I'm going to just lead you through it, because I can get the video working without uh, my calculator and my computer freaking out or paying money. So, I'm just going to talk to you. You can look at your screen, and I'll tell you what to do. First, I have the A plus BI. It's the first line. If you don't know how to start a program, you go to Program, go over to New, and then you just type in the name you want. I do Quad Form, Quadratic Formula. It's pretty simple. This comes in handy so often. Um, so, A plus BI is you go to Mode, and you go down, and it'll have the A plus BI kind of toward the bottom of your screen when you look at it. The first, you just hit Enter on it. It'll put it in. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Hit enter, puts you to the second line. Whenever you go to a new line, you're going to hit enter. Prompt is you go to program, over one, and I think down two. I don't have it really open right now, but yes. And so when you go there, it puts a prompt, and you hit enter for all these. Now, A, comma, B, comma, C. If you don't know how to put variables in, it's alpha A, uh, comma, alpha B, comma, alpha C. And I'm just going to say the variables so I don't have to say alpha over and over again. So, you open your parentheses, put negative B in, close parentheses, make sure you have two there because in the opening parentheses because it comes up later to close it and you have to have an even amount or uh, your calculator won't calculate it right. Uh, then you plus, open parentheses, open parentheses, the quantity B, close parentheses, squared. Um, if you're using a TI-83, I'm using a TI-84, so that's why it's this little square symbol which is just next to the 7, the log area. If you look at your calculator, it's on the left-hand side. Um, if you're using a TI-83, you might have to raise it, which is the button right above the division button. It's a little arrow kind of pointing up the caret. Uh, raise to the second power. Sometimes it doesn't work using the squared button. I don't know why. Then you do subtract the quantity 4AC, close parentheses, raise to the 0.5 power, which is the square root, uh, close parentheses, divided by 2A, store D. The store button is the one right above the on it's sto sideways arrow it's actually taking all of that data you just put in calculating it giving you a number and putting it in the variable d which comes up later when you have to display it then you go open parentheses open parentheses after you start a new line negative b uh close parentheses minus this time it's a plus or minus for the square root uh close pr open parentheses open parentheses quantity b squared again you might have to do the weird squared one minus 4ac, close parentheses, close parentheses, square root of 0.5, uh, close parentheses, divided by quantity 2a, store e. Again, the store button is right above the on. This program is kind of repetitive, so I might, I won't repeat myself for every, like, stored where it is. Uh, next, you open the, uh, quantity b, close quantity, squared, again, weird square, minus 4ac, store f. Um, then this is where it kind of gets tricky. You go if, which is second math, and if you go to, to nope, not second math, my bad. Uh, it's program. It's the first one. It's one, and that's it's an if then statement. I won't explain those unless someone really wants me to in another video. Image. That's the imaginary number, and the easiest way is just go second, which is the top left button. Catalog, which is zero. So second zero, and then just type in the letter I, which is the x squared button, and it'll give you image as the fourth one down. And you plug that one in, and you're going to do that for each one of these that says image on it. So it's image A equals zero. The equals is where the second math, which is the third, but the third button down on the left under second. It's the first one is equals. So you go there, you hit equals, and then put zero. And is in the same spot. It's second math, and then to logic, which is the, on the right, and it's the first one there. This is just, if it's an imaginary number, it's going to decide that, hey, I can't do this, I have to go and display it a different way than normal. So, I just screwed something up, but that's on my calculator, not in the program. Um, and image B equals 0, and then image C equals 0, it's the same thing. Then, on the calculator, I think it has, um, on the same line, the colon, then, you can go to the next line, it's easier, but it kind of saves space, my friend did that. Um, and then, if I can figure out what just happened to my calculator, 
Give me one second, and I will figure this out. Okay, the next line is if f is greater than or equal to zero. For some reason, it messed up mine. Uh, sorry about that. So, if f is greater than or equal to zero, the greater than or equal to zero is also in the second math. It's the fourth one down. Start a new line. Go to then. These will all have colons on the side, too, if you can see by the then there. Then, if you go to display D, which is program, um, program, IO, the one to the right, again, display, it's the third one. So, you go there, display, D, store frac is math, and it's the first one, it's an arrow frac. It's pretty much, it's making it a fraction, because a lot of the times you want it as a fraction easier, and then if it's not, you don't want it as a fraction, you just type it out later right below it on your calculator to give you the right answer. Uh, display E, store frac, display F, store frac, and that's all the same, just repeating, like, D, E, F. So I won't go over that. Stop is program, then it's F, it's down at the bottom. It's, like, if you go to program, and you scroll down to F, it'll say stop. And so you put that in, and that's that row. Hit enter again, go to the next row. Now you go to else, that's also in the program, it's the third one down, and that's, it's almost, it's an if-then statement, but else is like all the other options that aren't in this statement. Uh, fix 3 is the one I added, you don't really have to, it's just to make the decimal shorter, and that's, you go to mode, and you go to float 3, you don't actually hit the float, you just scroll over to that 3, and that'll give you a fix 3. Now, you go display D comma D E kind of comma F, um, and that's just what we did before. The exact same thing with the displays. Now you get a float, which is just mode again. The float, it's another self-explanatory one. End is if you go to program and go to seven. Um, it's the seventh one down. You just scroll. You don't have to hit seven. And then the last part here, it is else again, which is the third one in the program. Fix 3, which is if you go up to mode, go to 3 again, display D, comma E, comma F, and then float for the last time. And then the end just is finishing that last statement. Um, I won't, I can do an introductory to program video, I guess, if anyone wants to. You can download this if you don't want to actually type it out. This is just kind of explaining how you can do it if you don't want to download it, or the download's not working for some reason. And you can also download my app, which I've created uh, these are a few programs I've worked on during school when I haven't been paying attention and made these games and I compiled them into an app so they're easier to download in your archive. You just go to apps, it'll say Joe's app, and you can download that and play. I have right on there Deal or No Deal, and it's a questing game. It's like an RPG text-based game. Uh, these are both, I made them. I'm going to make Tic-Tac-Toe versus Computer. I'm working on that. And then if you guys have anything you want me to try to make... Uh, I can try, but be reasonable. I completely taught myself how to do this. Me and my friend worked on it last year, uh, and we came up with this program. It works pretty well. Our whole school uses it now. And so thanks for listening. Hope this helps you. If not, just use the download. Thank you. Bye.